kitchen. Cheers as you have your tea there. Cheers. Cheers. Thank yes. you. Yes. It's really nice to, to have you with us. You're going to be only our second one of the year, so it's going to be nice. People are waiting and are hungry for, for some performance, something, uh, something fresh, something new. So before we get to that part, which is very interesting, um, just like a brief introduction on who is Serati, uh, what kind of arts or what kind of music inspires you as an artist? Oh, yes, I'm a South African artist, singer-songwriter, writer, student of multiple instruments um, and um, and gypsy I'm a gypsy really I am traveling wandering around um, the African continent my influences are very wide and broad you know I've been you know very much influenced by Western styles as a child you know folk rock soul um, and all of the above, you know, like Motown, I had a really big Motown phase and, you know, rock and all of that. And then in the, the recent uh, years, um, African, you know, I have been having a lot of African influences and I found it important at a certain age, you know, in my late teens to kind of discover African music and um, I fell in love with West African music and now I've been traveling in Southern Africa, so I'm very much influenced by the indigenous instruments of Southern Africa and that's why I say I'm a student. Because I am a student of, of indigenous instruments. Yeah. Said a lot, but yeah, that's me. So you said something about being a gypsy. So you, you I said the Sedati Capelli as well, that you're also like a nomadic artist. Um, and it feels like yeah. it's almost like a need that you have to kind of move around. And so I wanted to know as an artist, as a person it's always rich, but as an artist, how is this important? How does this feed uh, your music and how you evolve as a musician, as an artist? I don't even know how it came about. I mean, I love traveling. I've always wanted to travel. I grew up kind of being exposed and traveling as a child. So it's something that I, I was exposed to, but traveling outside of Africa. And now in the recent years, um, traveling within Southern Africa. And it's not something I planned, but it's somehow I found myself, you know, getting this, these opportunities to travel Southern Africa through music. And what it has done, it has enriched really my, um, I think my scope as an artist. Is there like a specific place that you feel had a big impact on this shift? Mozambique. Yeah. <laughs> Mozambique. <laughs> That's why I'm still here. That's why I'm so like, you came back. I was stuck here at first. Now I'm just choosing yeah. to be here. I mean, I was not intending on staying in Mozambique. I was supposed to be here for five days. Wow. It's almost two years. <laughs> I've been here now and October will be two years. So that's crazy. But I, initially, I got opened up to um, you know, I've, you know, to to West African music. That's a really big influence of mine, West African music and the kora. And I and when I spoke about indigenous instruments, I meant the kora. That's what I knew, and that's what I wanted to have. That kind of something about that the richness of of that instrument that really touches me and has touched me. And coming to Mozambique. Uh, and meeting all these different artists that I met and getting into the scene, the artist scene, I was really, I was really intrigued by um, meeting so many young artists who are playing indigenous instruments, playing mbira, and you know, incorporating it and into their music and, and presenting it in a contemporary way. You yeah. know, it's not just like you play it when it's traditional music, but you can make it your own and bring it into the future. Yeah, and it's great because it's, um, I feel like these, uh, like you said, the instruments and kind of going to the roots of it is what makes us special. It is the Indambira and all these other, uh, or Timbila and all these other instruments that makes us special and we should cherish it and give it a new twist. That's, that's special, that's new, that's actually more new than anything else. So I think it's exactly. really, really good. Looking at the past 10 months, um, I think some artists have had different experiences. Not being able to perform properly in front of people has definitely changed how we are as artists. What has been your like your process in these or creative process in these last ten months? Well, I've been active. I've been very active in my other project, um, which has really also kept me here in Mozambique. My collective, Pasadi Pamentsu, we're an all women transnational collective. Or, um, so I've been very busy with that and we've, been, we've really been uh, cementing ourselves and doing residencies and writing new music. And so 
Honestly, I think getting to write, first of all, working with a group of women, just, just working with women because this, this industry is so male dominated. Yeah. So just being in a, an all woman space has been so refreshing. And, you know, our music is, we incorporate like um, Yoruba and, and all sorts of, uh, all our different cultures and backgrounds because we've got Brazilian, Cuban and Mozambican and, and myself. And so being part of this collective has allowed me also to find another voice of my own, you know, my own, a different voice of mine. Yeah, um, but um, in terms of your show, what can we expect? Not to give too much, but tell us a little bit about what you will present. Well, the show is going to be a very unique um, presentation of a fusion of, you know, soul, folk, rock music, yeah. and African <laughs> music, whatever African music means because it's so broad, but indigenous instruments, African sounds, I'll just put it that way. Yeah. And um, a lot of storytelling, a lot of um, just raw honesty because that's what my music is about and I just love sharing and telling stories and um, yeah, just sharing sharing myself with people. Nice. So that's it. We are excited and happy to have you share with us. Um, so invite the people, the date, the time, everything. 10th of March, Facebook Live. Uh, I believe it's, it's 6.30. Um, 16 Neto's Facebook page. Um, so check it out. Do not be late. Fika in casa. Stay at home and watch the show. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great rehearsal and I will see you on the 10th of March. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't come to Just might make me